Setting up data permissions for your users based on profiles. Let's move to profile permissions. The primary purpose of this setting is to set down data access rules and settings available to an admin member and a restricted user. For example, let's create a new profile called Sales Manager. Now click on Add. Name the profile as Sales Manager. And toggle for Sales under Product Access. This provides a detailed list of permissions the profile has access and make changes to. Let's try this for contact management. Let's toggle Read, Update, Delete, and Create. These will let the user create new contacts, read, update, and delete any and all contacts shared with the user. Now click Save. You can edit any profile by clicking on one and following the same process as earlier. Under Module and Object Permissions, we see that users are provided with three types of access, Basic Access, Administrative Access, and Special Access. Basic Access gives the user permission to perform specific actions on the entity records owned by the user or shared with the user. For example, a user with permission to update leads can update only the leads created by him or which are shared, reassigned to him. Administrative access gives the user permissions to perform the specified action on all the entity records under the module on which the permission is granted. For example, a user with permission to read all leads can access, read any leads available created in the system. Special access is applicable only in the following modules, lead, contact, company, and deal. This access gives the user privileges to add tasks, notes, and meetings specific to any entity like a lead, contact, deal, etc.